the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear friends, today I'm speaking to you from a holy mountain. You know, you can see the mountain settings and uh, you know, this is the mountain where one of the apostles, St. Thomas came in 52 AD and he climbed this mountain and this is a holy mountain. So because I am here, I am thinking of speaking to you on prayer. You know, we are all people who pray and we pray for our own needs, we pray for others. But have there been instances in your life when you started praying but the prayer was not being answered or are there instances where you see that you have started praying but the situation is becoming even worse you know i remember uh, once a woman used to telephone to me i did not know the woman and she would ask me to pray for her husband she used to say my husband is admitted in the hospital and he is suffering from a very strange disease that disease itself is so complicated and it is so rare that by this disease all the muscles of the body get paralyzed it's the body becomes just like a dead body now this woman I don't know who gave the number but she used to call me up twice thrice a week and this continued and then every time she used to call she would quote the bible and tell me pray that she he is completely healed and she would say jesus never refused healing and she would quote the bible now she asked me can you please come and pray for my husband in the hospital you know, it's not very easy to go everywhere, neither do I know the woman. So I said, yeah, I will pray for you, but I am not able to come. One day when I went to my parish, the cathedral parish in New Delhi, where I live, the parish priest called me and he said, Cyril, uh, some people from the military came here and then they said their former army chief, now, just imagine the man, the topmost, the number one in the army. The former army chief is admitted in the hospital and his wife wants somebody to go and pray for him. And they took your name that his wife has been calling you. Can you please go and pray for him? That's the time I came to know that the woman who is calling me is the wife of the former army chief who was quite famous, a well-known person. So when the parish priest asked me, I said, yes, I will go. Now, this woman gets this message that I'm going to pray and she calls me up and she says, Cyril, now you are going to come to pray for my husband and you are coming to pray for his total healing. No, you know, uh, in the, the topmost person in the army. You know, they are supposed to be very arrogant people and his wife too was quite arrogant when she was saying this to me. So, uh, since we are going to pray for this person, I thought I will also invite one of my prayer group members. So, uh, there was a lady who used to come with me for prayer. So, both of us decided to go. We fixed up the time. And uh, before going to the hospital, we went to the cathedral parish where the Blessed Sacrament is exposed. We sat before the Blessed Sacrament and then we were praying. Now we were praying, we were asking the Lord, Lord, what shall we do? How shall we pray? And the Lord gave a vision of a coffin. You know, that was surprising. And then we went to the hospital. We were received, we were taken because uh, he's an important man in the hospital and it's a military hospital. We were taken to uh, the drawing room outside uh, the room where uh, this man is admitted. We were made to sit. The wife of the army chief came. Then she gave us a briefing again. Now you have come to pray. You have come to pray for his total healing. And she was very adamant on this. And then she took us inside 
this man was lying just like a dead body his eyes were wide open now the two of us went and stood me on my left was uh, the my companion and on my right very close to me came and stood the wife of the army chief now i was in a dilemma you know we are to pray and how shall we pray because the wife wants total healing but the lord showed us a coffin and in fact that shows that the lord is asking us to pray for his good death now we started praying in tongues those who do not know what this is this is a gift of the holy spirit which helps us to pray you know united with jesus united with the holy spirit it is a language of the angels in heaven so we started praying in tongues and when we pray in tongues there is no language over there it's the spirit that prays so we continue to pray um, and my companion whispered in my ears the lord is saying that this man has to receive a lot of forgiveness there is lot of unforgiveness towards him so then we started praying for this that he may receive forgiveness that he may have a peaceful death so we prayed again in tongues for quite some time and then we came out of the room so the wife of the army chief came up to me and she asked me cyril what is the lord telling you now it was difficult to answer so i told her the lord is saying pray that his will may be done from her face i could make out she was not very happy we came away the next day morning i get a phone call and the man says i'm calling from the army the wife of the army chief has wants to inform you that her husband passed away last night dear friends this man was admitted in the hospital for 9 months he was there in the state for 9 months and after we prayed this man passes away somehow maybe i was a little foolish i thought this lady has been calling me up for a long time we should pay go and pay our last respect to the general so we went to his residence it was just before the funeral begins there were a lot of uh, army people around so they asked me i said yeah we have come to pay our respect to the general so we were taken to a room and uh, i just reached the uh, entrance of the room and i find the body is laid in the middle of the room and the wife is there and there are some television crew people who are trying to cover it and uh, this lady was shouting at them now she was very angry that's the time when some sense came upon me i said she seems to be very angry now we prayed for him and he died now what is she going to say how is she going to react is she going to insult us in front of everyone shall we go inside that is a thought that suddenly came to me but by this time the woman had already spotted us and she came running to us in fact to tell you the truth i shivered <laughs> maybe i was foolish in doing this uh, so she came near me and she was as meek as a lamb and she said cyril now i understand what you told me pray that his will may be done and i said within me praise the lord now the question is was this general healed for many of us it was just the opposite he died after we prayed but i believe he was healed because for 9 months he was struggling with life and death for 9 months this woman has been wanting to cling to him maybe you know I, when i analyze i i sense as former army chief she enjoys a lot of prerogatives she is a very privileged citizen now if he passes away then those privileges are not there maybe because of that she wanted to ensure that he lives on now after we prayed this man 
receives forgiveness which must have been a block for his death and then he passes away and then after that this woman who was so insistent that he should be completely healed now she is able to accept the fact that it was god's will so i believe there was a double healing that took place so most of the time dear friends when we look at life situations when we pray you know the lord perhaps does not change the situation but the lord changes us in that situation that is a miracle that happens which we fail to see maybe we do not experience the consolations that we are seeking for but we are able to experience the god of consolations that is a miracle in itself that's a healing in itself so i just want to uh, narrate another incident you know there was a woman in france and her husband was a womanizer he was a, an alcoholic and he had all bad habits but somehow this woman loved her husband she went on praying for him went on praying for him but one day it happened this man jumped from the overbridge into the river and committed suicide this woman was shattered now she goes to the church sits on a pew and she was crying she was inconsolable trying crying crying after some time there is a priest who was sitting in the confessional there was queue both sides of the confessional but this priest gets up comes to the woman sits near her and then sits near her and then she tells her why are you crying she said this has happened to my husband said your husband after he jumped from the bridge before he touched the water he experienced conversion he repented i mean who was this priest this priest was saint john mary vianney we know that john mary vianney had all this charism so word of knowledge he knew what had happened he knew why this woman was crying so he is getting up from the confessional coming and saying this message to the woman and the woman was so much comforted by this that her prayer was answered and this man did experience a deep conversion before his face touched in the water and then naturally if he is converted if he has had a repentance he will definitely go to heaven uh, you know conversion doesn't take a day or a month or a year even it's just a few seconds is enough so dear friends when we pray you know we have something uh, we have we are very narrow limited vision our prayer is for something but the lord who has the whole picture who loves us he does things in his own way because of which we receive even greater and deeper healing and miracles than what we ask for so dear friends in our sufferings you know as pope francis says our tears sometimes become the lens through which we are able to see jesus so in our sufferings we may not experience the consolations that we are seeking for but we experience that god who is going to give us consolations so just surrender you know our anxieties our tensions our brokenness to him and he is going to give us those consolations through his own uh, intimate love and relationship with us god bless each one of you in the name of the father and of the son and the holy spirit amen Mark of the end. Turn back.
towards God. Rise up. <laughs>